Hello everyone, my name is Ikenna from Smiling Sun. Everything solar installation, everything inverter installation, everything going green. How are you guys doing today? Okay, so we are on location, all right? So we got a distress call from a store owner uh, who apparently already had um, a solar installation and inverter installation installed for him, all right? But then there was a problem. There was a fire incident in the store and the solar installation that was installed for the man almost got the entire store burnt down you can see here although um the place has already been painted because we are here to uh do a reinstallation and um, put back the inverter and the batteries and other things that got burnt in the process so you can see here um even some ha it still has some smokes in it all right up here so we are trying to find out what exactly went wrong why it got burnt and all of that so we'll definitely let you guys know by the end of the day when we are fully done with the installation you can see that uh, part of the covers for the um uh the d board is also you can see some of the uh, smoke still on it so everything here completely already been removed you know so everything here was completely burned so so we would do the reinstallation so we need you to follow us in the process then we would also let you know what exactly caused the fire so if this is your first time on this channel and you haven't subscribed now would be a good time for you to subscribe all right to be part of this community so that you get to be informed about what happens in and around you in the world of solar technology all right and whilst you're at it don't forget to click that bell icon so that you'll be the first to be notified when we have fresh and brand new videos all right thank you guys so very much so you're going to follow us through the journey as we do the installation it's quite a very small installation but we'll, you follow us all the way to the roof back to when we connect the batteries the inverters the charge controllers everything This, um, we intend to um, put it on the wall. So we're gonna hang it on the wall. So this is a wall mount um, transformer based inverter. So this is a charge controller where, that we intend to use. All right, so this is going to here. So all the units are gonna be here. The charge controller, the inverter, the enclosure box that is gonna contain the um, circuit breakers, the fuses, everything we need are all gonna be on the same line. So uh, we all do it together, right? All right, so we're trying to first of all put the um, enclosure box. So the enclo enclosure box is going to house all the fuse, uh, the digital surge protector, the thunder arrestor, everything is definitely gonna be here. All right, so we intend to put all the components to align to make it a lot neater. You're gonna have the inverter at the middle and you would have the charge controller just uh, immediately after the inverter. So everything is gonna be on the same line we're going to have a trunk in which is going to house all the wires to make it um, a lot neater. Okay, so we're about to start doing some drilling. Okay, so let's um, let's have that drill up there. So now that the inverter has been installed in the wall, um, the first thing to do is to, while you, cause what we do in the screen is, we're not gonna screen very hard so that we can still adjust it in case it's not properly plumbed. So you have to use the plumb to ensure that the, um, it aligns and it's pretty much straight and not bent. 
All right, so once that has been done, the first thing that you need to do is to ensure that the voltage that you're using, because sometimes um, this is a 5 kV inverter. Some 5 kV inverters can also come as 24 volts, but this is essentially a 4, 48 volt system, all right? And the battery configuration is gonna be 48 volt system, all connected in series. All right, so the first thing that you basically need to do is to ensure that the inverter that has been delivered to you is actually a 48 volt system. If it is a 24 volt system and you connect it to a 48 volt system, it is going to blow up the inverter. So the first thing you need to do is to check the voltage of the inverter. So having said that, now we need to link. These are the um, circuits, all right? Um, this in here is meant to fuse the inverter in and out. All right, so one, one is gonna be connected to the input. It's a digital surge protector. All right, so one is gonna be connected to the input while the other one is connected to the output. And you have the thunder arrestor, and of course you have the communicator circuit, all right? All this housed into the nine-way um, enclosure box. So this is gonna get connected here to communicate with all of this quite later. So you see uh, what we are doing to ensure that we do the proper thing and to avert the fire incidents that we witnessed here um, a couple of days ago. So stay with us. So we're trying to um, link the, um, the battery now to use it to power this guy up. All right, so that's the next step we wanna do. Uh, but it's gonna run through a battery disconnector which we're also gonna connect. So we'll try linking them up. battery disconnector it's a dc breaker it's 125 amps which is pretty much adequate for what we want to do all right so it's going to be able to disconnect the batteries from the inverter that's uh, mainly for two purposes one if there's fire uh, you can quickly instruct someone probably the homeowner that you installed it for to quickly turn it off or if you want to do repairs you know because it does a very smooth transmission especially when you have a lot of amperage going on so if you don't use this and you connect it directly it could damage your appliances all right so always make sure that this is used in your connection it's very essential All right, um, the inverter and of course the charge controller, um, they're all connected to the batteries now, okay? So it's still kind of a rough wiring. We haven't put it on um, trunkings and we haven't connected the solar panels to it as well, okay? So it's just some um, it's just some connections to be able to power up the inverter and the charge controller. So all right, so the essence of having this connected right now without connecting the solar panels to it is uh, so that we can do this simultaneously. So while we're connecting the solar panels, that's the PV, uh, we can also set up the parameters that come with because this charge controller and the inverter has a whole lot of setting parameters that is specially designed to take care of the batteries. All right, so that's essentially why we're doing what we're doing at the moment. So we'll have to connect this. And while we're doing this, we're trying to ensure that the fire incident that happened here doesn't happen anymore. So we have to correct everything the old installer did. Um, the old installer did not connect any form of um, circuit breaker or surge protector. So in here, you have a surge protector for the input and output of the inverter. You also have a thunder arrestor and you have a communicator circuit all in this nine-way enclosure box, all right? So all of this is, is connected. So let's see um, what the powered up inverter and the charge controller is looking like. So let's first do uh, turn on the charge controller. All right, so the charge controller is on. It's showing you that it's all powered up. They are all passed through the battery, battery disconnector here. And let's turn on the inverter as well. Yeah, the inverter is up as well. So they are all connected. It's working, you know, cause we uh, checked for the voltage to ensure that it tallies with the configuration of voltage that we're using. Cause this is essentially a 48 volt system. All right, so everything is fine. And part of the things that we're also trying to do is to ensure that we use the proper wire gauge you can see that this wire is bond, all right? 
and part of the reason why it got burnt is was because this was the wrong wire gauge to be used in the first place all right um you have a lot of solar panels on the roof so the old installer should have used a 16 mm wire gauge but instead he went and used a 10 mm gauge and combined it with a 6 mm gauge now he also did something that is also wrong by doing two in series connection as opposed to doing three in series connection which is not adequate to fully charge the batteries that you have here so this is for the 8 volt system these are agm batteries odyssey multimeter is showing 83 volts so without even going to the solar panels you can tell that what he has done is two in series which is wrong for this connection so we'll ensure that everything is done properly the right ac wire gauge right. so let's get to the roof and so that you can see the configurations and the wirings on the solar panel right at the roof all right guys here are the solar panels on the roof uh, it's quite a lot of um, solar panels all right yeah so this is what it looks like it's quite a lot of some um, solar panels on the roof here so so here are the um, solar panels all right so we're trying to find out uh, what configuration it was done uh, but from what we said down there uh, we could already see that it's two in series all right so that was what was connected so we'll definitely have to disconnect some of the solar panels and when we disconnect them we're going to do the proper connection which is three in series all right so each of these ones we would have to um, disconnect these wires so when we disconnect these wires that are right under and all of these wires we will connect it to be three in series all right so that will be able to take care of the batteries that we have down there all right to be able to ensure that the right voltage the right current is supplied to the batteries to make it to be able to function the way it should so that the batteries don't go off when it shouldn't the system is running smoothly um, they have more than enough panels here to be able to give them real-time energy from the sun as opposed to using whatever is stored in the battery that should be for night when the sun energy comes down all right so we'll do that and ensure that that is properly done so you stay with us okay as we do all of those connections all right so you can see that we can stand on the solar panels it's really that strong because um, it's built with very thick tempered glass all right so solar panels here you can walk on them if you want to walk on them so it's really strong and these solar panels are built to last a very long time so over here we have um, the connections that are under here so these are the things that would have to properly connect it and be able to get the real three in series connections all right so uh, most of them are not um, they are not all fastened to the roof so we've had to um, loosen the screws that we used to fasten it to the roof uh, to be able to do the um, proper connections all right guys um we're just finishing right now. Um, the system is completely ready. Okay, so we've been able to build this 48 volt system. So it's more like a rebuild because there was a fire incident here. So uh, the old appliance or so the old components got burned. So we're called in here to rebuild the system. So we're pretty much done. All right, so we have a 48 volt system and we have like eight batteries here, which we um, have to put on parallel to be able to um shore up the amperage but keep the voltage at 48 volts all right so everything is pretty much okay now so i'll continue the reading tomorrow um i'll get some snapshots from the screen from the solar charge controller to monitor what exactly is coming in from the solar panels tomorrow uh from 10 o'clock 11 and 12 when the sun is pretty much high uh, that should tell us how pretty much good the job that we have done is all right so we're completely done with the installation all right um this is like the very next day because we pretty much finished very late yesterday so we had lost the sun and we were just wrapped up with the very last of our solar panel connections up there in the roof 
so now everything is pretty much done and we have to continue to read in the next day which is today uh it's like um 11 30 um a.m in nigeria africa so the charge controller fully installed fully connected the inverter fully installed fully connected you also have the um uh, you also have the circuit breakers all installed both input output to protect uh, the inverter all right that's the digital uh, search protector you also have the thunder arrestor all connected and of course you have the communicator circuit right there and of course this uh, battery disconnector and solar panel disconnector all connected into one so what we did was to use uh, one of the lines for the battery and the other line for the solar panel so that if you want to do maintenance in the future it's going to be a lot easier for you to uh, shut it down or in cases where you have fire or sparks in the system you can always tell someone to quickly shut it down so everything pretty much is working well so we're pretty much very happy with the energy level that we're generating from the solar panel we're almost hitting 4,000 watts and that's crazy at this time of the day all right so you can see everything is fine so completely done and we're very happy about what we're getting and in the battery we also had to increase the battery strength we decided to add four more batteries did a parallel connection all right to show up the amperage but still maintain the voltage just the way it is so everything is pretty much running smooth um this entire place is powered with uh, the inverter right now so everything is looking good the energy level is really crazy and we're just happy with the work that we have done Fire. So everything is pretty much done. We've done all the connections. We've done all the load separation. Things that are not supposed to be on the inverter has been taken off. So we have a couple of air conditioners running on it and it seems pretty good. All right. So my name is Tilly Kinna from Smiling Sun. Everything, solar installation, everything, inverter installation, everything going green. Please, if you haven't subscribed, kindly help subscribe. All right. Because you're helping us to grow so that we can get you more and more videos don't forget to press the bell icon so that you'll be notified once we have fresh and brand new videos thank you so much guys and see you in the next video